Hey guys, welcome to another exciting edition of Scruff's Garage. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to pull the uh, pallet bearing out of the back of the crankshaft on an LS1. This would apply to uh, any of the LS engines uh, and certainly uh, a, lot of their, a lot of other applications as well. Uh, so this is a uh, pallet bearing removal tool. Uh, it's got these two fingers at the front. Um, so you back the main bolt out uh, until these can touch and you'll slide them inside the, the pallet bearing and then you'll turn this bolt forward uh, as you do it spreads these two fingers apart and that's what grips the inside um, of the pallet bearing so get that lined up Okay, and here's the movie magic part. Uh, as far as you know, uh, just 30 seconds have passed and I'm getting ready to get this bearing out. What you don't know is that I've been fighting with this thing for quite a while. Quite a while and I destroyed the uh, you know, bearings on the inside. And um, part of the problem is that this tool just doesn't get a good bite inside um, that bearing and so it kept pulling through and it I'll show you like here's the the inner cage and I got all the needle bearings out um, and then even wedged a uh, flathead screwdriver down in the uh, between the two fingers in there just to keep them uh, from pushing inward you know as there's pressure pulling it out just to make sure it gets a good bite and it's finally starting to come out you know you start into something you think oh man this is gonna be pretty easy got the right tool to do the job no such luck sometimes There it is. So I don't know if you can see. Ended up getting it to bite on the lip that's just inside of the bearing. Um, but I had to knock all the uh, needle bearings out to do that. So anyway, <clears throat> uh, so easy, right? Um, that's how you get the uh, pallet bearing out. Uh, we'll clean this up uh, real well. And then uh, we'll drive the new uh, pallet bearing in and uh, we'll be done. All right, so I cleaned up the, uh, the end of the crankshaft here where the pallet bearing uh, sits. Got a new uh, pallet bearing that I'm going to press in. Um, actually kind of gets hammered in, get it lined up uh, straight. And then you can take a, uh, a socket that fits uh, the size of the, uh, the pallet bearing and lightly tap it in. I'm slowly making progress. Um, takes a lot of effort to get this uh, bearing uh, pounded in. Um, ended up using this type of uh, socket. It's got a hex head on it, but it fits in there and helps keep uh, it centered, which seems to be helping some. Okay, there we go. Uh, got the new pallet bearing uh, driven all the way in. Uh, just drive it in until it's flush. Uh, with this surface in here make sure you don't damage the uh, the bearing surface um, when I get the uh, clutch alignment tool out again I'll stick it in here before I uh, set up the clutch and just make sure everything turns smoothly make sure um, 
everything looks good but uh, overall pretty happy with this so good luck on your project uh, going to take a little bit of time but if you go slow uh, you'll have uh, success so thanks for tuning in I hope this helped and I'll uh, see you next time